Wow. Okay, so um, people passing judgment on AIX, talking about he he's narrow minded. Um, I do contradict myself because how I feel on Friday may not have be how I feel on Tuesday. Um, uh, hmm. So a friend of mine told me I contradicted myself. Um, you need to look at the video Hood Report 2, 1 and 2, part 1 and 2. Um, I feel you. I'm not enabling black women because you can't enable a group of people who have already empowered themselves. Black women have empowered themselves over the course of time, so I can't enable a group of people that have enabled themselves. Um, that's about it. Oh, for the dude that says I'm narrow-minded, look at the first page of my videos. If you can count how many people have watched my videos by looking at them on the screen and counting them in your head, then I'm narrow-minded. But for somebody to have eight videos and you can count how many views they got in your head without even looking at all the damn numbers, you calling me narrow-minded, you have no views. Your views are narrow. You're non-existent on YouTube. But hey, that's how things go. Sergeant Willie Pete, I'm still ready for the interview. Um, don't hate on me. I know, I know you ain't hating on me, but I want to explain what I mean by don't hate on me. Um, I know I communicate with some people that you don't want to fuck with, don't want to talk to, don't want to have nothing to do with. I assure you, and I guarantee you, there is no flim flammery with me when I say let's do something. Okay? So, you know, that's how I work, man. The uh, interview offer is still there for you, soul and black, wise Nubian, whoever the hell want to interview me. I'm right here. I'm not going nowhere. Um, but Sergeant, just because I know a few people and I communicate with them now and then, don't take it like I was one of those people that tried to get you off the YouTube because it don't work like that. I'm an independent contractor. All right. There's the other people. Put it like this. I walk amongst all worlds. Understand that. When this guy had a beef with this guy, I still talk to both these guys. I tell them, knock off the beef. They tell me to go screw myself, and then I move on to the next subject. But that's how that works. Other than that, um, if I ask you to, to do something with me or whatever, it has nothing to do with anything that you had going on with anybody. You, Soul and Black, London, Canada, all y'all, interview me for who I am and not for the beef um, because I'm not part of the beef. We no longer serve beef at the Real AIX. We have a vegetarian channel here. We talk shit, we just don't serve beef. All right? So um, those who want to interview me, get the numbers from those who got them. The community is smaller than you think it is because if you know somebody who watches me, odds are they might have my phone number. Interview me. Let's do this. Let's keep it real. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to my number one, my number one, my number one this week. Bear seven, I forget your name, but Bear's the number one this week. Every week I'm going to try to find a number one viewer, a number one friend, and I'm not going to call you my number one friend or number one, but you, you're the number one person I, I've watched this week. What, what you said was most touching. I tried to do a video reply to it, but as you see, I have some stuff here in this uh, old camcorder right here that I'm going to put up here in a couple of days. One more thing I noticed. I've been visiting hate sites again. And I want you to go on YouTube and go to all them the YouTube hate sites where they got the swastikas and all the Ku Klux shit and Hitler shit. You go there and you look through the friends and you look through the subscribers. And it's funny what you find. Some of the top elite people, some of the YouTube elite, right there in the friend stack, right above the swastika, right next to the Iron Cross. 
Yeah, baby. That's some cool shit to see that. And when I put the video out, some of them people are going to be fucking embarrassed, scared, pissed off, and or angry. Other than that, Willie, call me. And you know what? Just shoot the breeze, man. You ain't got to interview me. Try to see how our brother doing. Um, Sean, 67, call me. Haven't heard from you for a while. And I'm sorry about them Dallas Cowboys. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Ah, ha, ha. Woo. Um, a Barack. Barack Obama. Man, will you stop emailing me? Nah, your, your email's okay, Barack. Um, other than that, live long, prosper, I guess. You know, all that shit. You know, with sight. No, I'm just kidding. But now, um, love yourself and respect everybody. And remember, those of you who are watching me in Oakland, California, the last thing we need is army trucks and army cars and army police patrol in our streets. A few people out there want to ride and get some justice for Mr. Oscar. Now, Oscar was a cool young dude. As far as I've heard, he's a good man. He didn't deserve to die. All this drama does not deserve to unfold the way it is. Um, people use your brains. Because when you think you're out there doing something in the man, in this man's name and in honor and showing solidarity, you know, for a fallen young civilian at the hands of our peacekeepers, the police, a private security firm at that, um, you have to understand this, riding on a police officer just because a police officer did something stupid is not necessarily the smartest thing. You do not want to see the National Guard driving down the street in your neighborhood. A lot of people say a lot of things and they don't make no sense. So you understand what I just said. You tell me if it makes sense. You'd rather see a police car driving down the street or army vehicles. You make the call. And no man deserves to die for any reasons, regardless. The law will take care of this. A law that's above you, me, the government, and any law set by any human. You've been too.